hi Zach. There's a nerd poll in the description. Everyone go check it out. Also, if you want to subscribe, you can. In the meantime, we just got off of an hour and 30 minute, 40 minute rant about Indiana Jones. And um, you might say, Jones in for a theory video. We, uh, that'll be on the other channel. And uh, yeah, uh, I am also... <laughs> I got very. I, like, I realized I was being so loud at the parts of uh, movies that I was upset about or angry about, and I'm like, my my downstairs neighbors can clearly very much hear me get passionate about Indiana Jones. And you know what? I've heard every argument they've ever had, so we'll call it <laughs> even. <laughs> and to those individuals, hi, thanks for watching. Uh, if the downstairs neighbors watch my videos, I'd be shocked, but. Uh, if, you know what? If you're watching this video, get couples therapy. <laughs> Zach, I have something that I wanted to talk to you about before we start. Yes. yes. <clears throat> An open letter to the lady who yelled at me in the Chicago Institute of Art. <laughs> okay. Helen. I appreciate that you were just doing your job. And I understand that sometimes people do touch the paintings with a desire to cause damage to them. However, I was merely gesturing enthusiastically in front of the painting. And your delivery of the phrase, quote, excuse you, unquote, did not seem equal to the situation. Furthermore, you will note that in that room with me, there were not less than four children of eight years old or younger. And I'm reasonably confident that one of them smacked the same painting I was gesturing enthusiastically in front of 60 to 90 seconds after you and I walked away from it. Again, I appreciate that you were just doing your job. But you could have been nicer about it. <laughs> Best regards, Tom. <laughs> I hope you get this letter. I hope this letter finds you in good health. <laughs> uh, uh, unironic, hope she sees this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody watching this happens to work at the Chicago Art Institute, tell Helen I'm sorry. I look I it's it was really cool and I wasn't touching it but I understand that you think I might have been it was really cool <laughs> Zach I have a theory for you today uh and it is not my theory it's one from our email you can submit uh, theories to the email in the description yeah oh. Um, we're a little behind on the email right now, uh, but that is just because we have a whole lot of wonderful nerds who send in wonderful theories and we talk about them. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be a while before we catch up, and even then all it takes is one person deciding to send us five theories one day, we're no longer caught up. Uh, so this is a big thank you to, uh, hang on, hang on, Zach Riff, I lost it. Oh no, wait, I thought his name was Jacob. It is Jacob, thank you. Big thank you to Jacob for sending in this theory. Uh, it is fantastic. And in the description, you may or may not find a link to Jacob's, like, you know, whatever Jacob does online. Uh, uh, check the description yeah, below. It may, yes. ju it may just be nice things that Jacob said about someone. Uh, either way, check the description. Zach, I have a theory. I have, a, I have a, an opening quote for you here, if you would like it. Yeah, please give me the opening quote. Okay, you ready? There are three forms of resurrection currently known in A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, there is R'hllor. Ding. There is whatever Kyburn does to people. Fire whites are brought back by red priests. Uh, and we're going to shrink these ones. 
we're gonna put we'll put all the we'll put the we'll like line these ones up underneath. Um, mm. I don't actually have whatever Kyburn does. That is not relevant to this theory. We have we have the other whites too. We have the ice whites. The others resurrect people. Back to life. Only one of these things is relevant, and I'm not going to tell you which. I will tell you, however, that you have missed one. Oh, the drowned god. Um, about brought back by the others. Now, see, that's interesting, isn't it? Because I don't have that on my list. And I would dispute that that is resurrection. What happened to Patchface? Come on. Patchface Patch Face alive. Appears to have maybe... I'll put it here. Okay, that's not the one we're looking for, but I'll put it here. The drowned god maybe brings people back. So there's, there's two we can definitively say we've seen it happen. Correct. We have seen... Beric Dendarian confirmed resurrected. Correct. Like, there is no... Uh, well, and also, Lady Stoneheart, it happens in a chapter. Like, we know for sure, like, all the things needed to confirm that resurrection have occurred in front of a point of view character. Confirmed. So... Confirmed, and give me, like, give me a red arrow. People love the red arrows. People love the red arrows. Uh, these will make good t-shirts someday, uh, as well as prints. Uh, but... I would I would absolutely buy a Prince T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too good. Thank it's you. Too good. Thank you. I appreciate that one. I like that one a lot. Confirmed. So, ready, hmm. Zach? I'm gonna do one more thing here for you. Boop. Oh no, what have I done? What do you mean, what have you done? What have I done? So, confirmed. What? What's the other confirmed way that people come back from the dead? Oh yeah. We've never verifiably seen a ghost that can be only explained as a ghost. The ghost of High Heart's just an old lady. Uh... Or is she? Uh, but hmm. if it's not the drowned god, it's not Kyburn. Both of whom are allegedly and kind of. Uh, hmm. I mean, the old gods can extend your life. We know that from Bloodraven, right? Um. That's not on my list, but it is certainly relevant. Hmm. I'll add that. Uh, Blood Raven, yeah. Blood Raven is still alive uh, and merged with the Weirwood. The old gods have life preserving powers. That is absolutely relevant. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah! What do you think of this? Where? So, what's the third? The three forms of resurrection currently known. We have four up there, and that only counts as two, which means there's at least five. I, uh, I, I do two just... Of the, two, of them require, two of them require some additional, like, theories that most people believe baked in. A lot of people believe that the drowned god spared Patchface, and a lot of people believe Tyburn brought the mountain back to life but those aren't outright confirmed yet so those are questionable what's the third confirmed one i'm, I'm losing i'm playing fast and loose with the mm -hmm. definition of the word resurrection here is it the dragon eggs that's still fire oh that's interesting no, the dragon egg were inert until they weren't. I've never thought uh, of it that way. That's not what I'm looking for. That's an interesting take. Uh, hmm. uh, 
playing fast and loose with resurrection. But but how? But how fast and loose? Um, like there's people faking their death, but then they never died. Pretty fast and loose. You might need to give it to me. I really lost. What what if I underline? I'm glad that you got us this. Because what if I underline this turn of phrase? Life preserving. Oh, uh, you got like most of a ding. Uh, Jacob, I added some like connective tissue between things, by the way. Um, uh, 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 Bran is, uh, how am I going to phrase this? You, you, what, oh. what did you, you mentioned Bran. Bran, Bran, uh, is with Bloodraven, uh, and has seen him, uh, as this, like, being. But you're, you're right that Varamir Sixkins lives on as a bird. Ding! Bran is training to become a green seer with Bloodraven. Boop, boop, boop. Um, let me see. Yes! Sp spirits of skin changers may live a second life uh, in the animal they skin change. They are described described as slowly losing themselves. So. So very curious. So this is this is about magic and resurrection and life in a song of ice and fire which is one of the really interesting topics because there's a lot we don't know for sure and a lot that we have seen direct evidence of and we've got three here a point of view character has like directly confirmed to be a fact and then a bunch of others that are sketchier things to imagine and we're not well if it wasn't for the appendix we wouldn't know for sure that uh it's blood raven in that case but the appendix pretty much comes out and says it also he called, even that, he says my name is brendan there's more than one yeah there's two yeah admittedly, <laughs> and we know what the other one was yeah the other the other one is alive <laughs> I mean, technically, they're both alive, but fine, uh, fine, fine. yes, yeah. It'd be yeah. weird if he was somebody else. Yes, not impossible, but weird. Just uh, some unrelated Brendan. My name is Brendan Rivers. No relation. <laughs> There's a lot of rivers. There's also a lot of bastards in the Riverlands. <laughs> so I, I I played a Brendan uh, uh, skip, but he got me back with a Brendan Rivers. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, okay, what what could this possibly be? Yeah, what what do we not know about resurrection? Hmm. Mm. I really hope the power metal band Power Wolf does not show up at all in this theory, because I'm going to be very mad. Ding. Uh, huh? No, nah, no, nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> I was going to flip my computer. Uh, the joke is, I only like one of their songs, and it's not the one I'm about to reference. I like a song, okay. I like a song they made called Demons Are a Girl's Best Friend, and I'm like, I should check out the rest of this band's discography. And it sucks. And one of the songs that my roommate likes to bring up is their song called <clears throat> Resurrection by Erection. Um, okay. 
and uh, I don't know that uh, that um, name bothers me. And if it showed up in this theory, I was gonna walk out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't like to think about that. Uh, anyways, well, let's. Uh, sh should I continue in like pulling on threads from anything that's on screen, or should I talk about? resurrection more broadly as a concept because resurrection is not just in song of ice and fire it's a concept in a lot of literature and religion too i think resurrection the concept of resurrection is one pillar of this theory that pillar is down here there is um something to be gained up here if you want to look for it so the old gods have all sorts of weird and mystical powers, and the children of the forest have magical powers, too. The children of the forest and the old gods are, like, highly connected, as far as we can tell. They might be the old gods, because they aren't even originally human gods. They're, like, the children of the forest's religion. They're gods. That's true. It never occurred to me that that's kind of strange. That that is an interspecies religion. It makes you think that the humans got there and saw obvious signs of the religion being true and started like worshiping, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's not worshiping a religion when the religion is true and has consistent results. At that point, it's just science you don't understand yet. Uh, hmm. It is also like we do have uh, examples of people adopting their native religion. The Dornish did not practice the faith of the seven when they landed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> what, what is to be gained from Bran and Bloodraven and the life preserving power of the old gods? So, this isn't the Captain Planet theory again, right? <laughs> it's not. Though that God, that would be funny if I It'd just hit you with with exactly the same theory. Uh, well, because I'm noticing there's three m ways of uh, resurrection we have right now: uh, fire, ice, which is water, or wind, depending on how you want to interpret whether it's the cold temperature or the water itself freezing. Or, and rather, uh, we have through animals, which is the power that Mati had with heart, which was just a work of animals. Okay. <laughs> uh, so clearly, and, and we have the drowned god, right? That's a water resurrection. Where's the uh, earth resurrection? I guess it's the stone. The stone men are like zombies too, right? They could be really old. I hate this. <laughs> All right, excellent. We, uh, we, we worked it back. We ran it back. We're back to the Captain Planet theory. Oh, my God. Somebody did comment that John should be Captain Planet when he gets resurrected by all of them combined. With, my, with your powers combined, I am John Targaryen. Uh, okay. By our power combined. So... What what else can green seers do? Oh, so, that's a great question. It's a popular theory that John will be able to come back relatively unchanged compared. Like he'll be changed, but not like he won't be like Lady Stoneheart gone because his mind will live on a ghost, and then when he's resurrected, he'll be back to his old body from that that's a popular theory that i happen to subscribe to john will live on in ghost at some point mel or somebody else will resurrect john and then he'll come back into his old body right. is that on here and then somebody else will resurrect mel and then that person will need to be resurrected by stannis and it's just a never-ending chain of resurrections no there's one formula that david x cohen wrote where they can all get resurrected I just don't understand why everyone in the party isn't a isn't like a divine cleric. I don't think it was actually David X. Cohen. He's just a producer of Futurama. He definitely wrote a bunch of episodes. 
I forget what the writer was who wrote that one episode of Futurama. See, my f- I we need to do this more often, where you tell a joke and I ignore it, and I tell a joke and you ignore it, and we both just we both do telling our own joke. Yes, we both just do parallel jokes for ourselves. <laughs> So it's a telltale game. You can choose which joke you're laughing at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh it, won't, it won't change where this theory is going, but you'll feel like you <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Alright, okay, so what else you got? I need a card. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm oh lost. sure. Yeah. Okay. Let me roll for you. Let me give you a card. That's the name of the show. Ha ah, do 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 do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. You got a number eleven. Deserters of the Night's Watch are traditionally sentenced to death and killed. Yeah, that's true. Uh, which does, does very much make them dead. Absolutely. This mm. is coming over on this side. And uh, most people who are resurrected die first. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Resurrection has a 100% mortality rate. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, is the implication here... <clears throat> is this a... Uh, there will be an army of fire to go against the army of ice? Like, Mel is going to go full necromancer? Or that, like, Bran or Bloodraven might be part of that? Like, all the deserters of Night's Watch will serve again, and that's why they're killed? No. 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 However, you are barking up the correct tree. Right right, pew, wrong church. Right pew, wrong church. Okay. Well, is this that the... Uh, hey, that's, others... that's, that's pretty literal in this case. <laughs> <laughs> is it that the others are going to resurrect all the dead Night's Watch people to fight against them, and it's going to cause chaos... Because they're still going to be wearing all black. Nope. Next church. <laughs> Is it the... what? How can skin changers be the connection here? Beep. Beep. So... Is it the animals that are out there have the, like, spirit of the Night's Watch in them? Like... We have no reason to believe they're all skin changers, right? Or is it one particular member of the Night's Watch who was executed who has demonstrated green seeing abilities? Oh fuck. So John has green seeing abilities. Right? Oh fuck! Right pew wrong church. <laughs> Wait, who else has green seeing ability? Oh Benjamin, maybe. The right, right? Where... Nope. <laughs> you know for sure, but Benjamin very could well be a green seer. The Ned's kids are. We never get any confirmation on Ned, but like Ned's kids at least can uh, have wolf dreams. That w- that's interesting. That's not what I'm looking for, though. No, Who you else? Ha- you have the wrong members of the Night's Watch. The wrong members of the you have okay. you have you ready for this sentence? I I think you've gotten close enough for me to give you this. You Go have you have not said the correct dead member of the Night's Watch. Oh, God. Who is that? Uh, Jor Mormont? No. Uh, Corrin Halfhand? No. Uh, uh, Aemon Targaryen? I don't think Buckshot's gonna get you there. Though I love the idea of zombie Aemon Targaryen. <laughs> Yeah, crawling, crawling out of his wine cask like the main character from The Ring. He gets poured out into a cup. Uh, 
I, I, <laughs> I'm really lost. Who could it be? We know so many members of the Night's Watch who are dead. It could be any of them. Who could it be now? The main creator's not dead, so it's not him. And he's also no longer in the Watch, so it's not him. I'm going to pull you over to this side real quick, okay? Go for it. Is it, well, it's not Bloodraven, is it? It's not Bloodraven. He's um, still alive. Blood Raven is the only other Targaryen there at the same time. Zach, what are some of Bran's Green Seer powers? We started to talk about some of them. Uh, he can control animals. He, he can, can look through weirwoods. Um, he can you know what? I'll, I'll call. <laughs> I'll call that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, Bran gets visions through time, and Bran. Can control. I'm gonna put that. Where am I gonna put that? I'll put that down here. That's fine. Uh, yes, because this is where we're gonna talk about this. Um, so, uh, and you said that Bran can control animals. Bran can control animals is not on my list. Bran can warg into his direwolf, correct? And, and Hodor, too. Okay, yes, Bran wargs. Hodor. Is the theory that some dead member of the Night's Watch is going to possess Hodor? Uh, <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, uh, holy fucking Jesus. Oh my God. That's a fucking great theory. We can talk about that. <laughs> Man, the, uh, they, they find the like animal, like, uh, the last hero, Right before he died, warged himself into a uh, infant Galapagos tortoise. <laughs> still around. Yeah! Uh, yeah! And he then realizes he can warg into Hodor, and he comes back and does it all again. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> Well, uh, we've got many great theories that aren't the theory. In this yeah. <laughs> Jacob, I got to tell you, I don't believe this, but it's incredible. Oh, there's some thunder outside. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, Bran wards Hodor. That's Correct. true. Bran could, in theory, live on in Hodor if he wanted to. Correct. You may note that there's an arrow over here. Is it so it's some members of the Night's Watch lived on in the bodies of other humans? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Who would it be? Who like could it be now? Uh, who, who of all people? Would still be alive, possessing somebody else's body. <laughs> what you're saying is it had to be a long dead members of the Night's Watch who's been skin changing multiple times, right? He's... Well, there's the Night King, right? Is this a the Night King is still alive theory? This is not a the Night King theory. You got the wrong dead member of the Night's Watch. I'm literally just gonna pull up a member a list of members of the Night's Watch until. Something clicks. You might be able to get somewhere a little bit closer uh, with Ooh. either, ready, this clue or this clue. Hold on. Which two? A brand and the old gods have life preserving powers in Bran. Bran the Builder is still alive. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I ain't. Ha I am not giving it to you. See. You're close enough, and you're going to say the name, and you're going to be... I know what your reaction is going to be. It's going to be... That is extremely difficult to disprove. <laughs> it, was this person ever Lord Commander? Um, uh, I don't know, and neither does anyone else. <laughs> was the rat was the rat cook a member of the Night's Watch? Um, I'm not looking for the rat cook, although that's an interesting sort of 
Actually, they happened, they happened in the night fort, right? Yeah, that did happen in the night fort. The night fort is relevant, sort of. Well, who, wait, who is at the night fort? <laughs> who could it possibly be? Well, there's. This is somebody who was a member of the Night's Watch, not just somebody who was there once, right? Um, yes. Though this is not this is not someone we have this is not someone we have confirmation about where they might have served. Who are some like ancient or like well past members of the Night's Watch? There's the there's the Night's King, who's the Lord Commander. We said it wasn't him. There's Blood Raven, who we know can't be the person because he's still alive, sort of. There's Jor and John, who you already said it wasn't. So it can't be uh, like all the other Lord Commanders are like relatively not important. Uh, there's the Runcel High Tower tried to pass a position onto his son. Uh, that seems like something that the High Towers would do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and there's. Uh, Lord Commander Horror, who's the brother of uh, Heron the Black. Uh, That's interesting. Those are the only two, those are the only two I'm staring at the list right now who seem noteworthy other than the ones I've already mentioned. Bam, 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 bam. There's Benjen. There's Cotter Pike, who's still alive. Uh, like, who's... Like, Jano Slint is dead. But Jano <laughs> Slint being, like, somebody else... It's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, this is the this is the Jano Slint is living on a second life in Hodor theory. <laughs> uh, bam, 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 bam. Watch for a complete list. Hey, the rat cook was a member of the Night's Watch. Uh, um, so would you like to find... There, there's one particular card down here. It won't help you find exactly what you're looking for, but it might give a little bit of context. Sure. Hand me the card. That is... Um, where did it go? Um, Bran sees a, a woman with a sickle. Um, execute, ex execute a man in the front of a heart tree. A woman with a sickle. So, a sickle is a, uh... Greyjoy thing, right? I think isn't the Harlaws too have a? Oh, oh, that's an interesting observation. Harlaw, yeah, the Harlaws has a sickle for their uh, thing, and there is uh, there's Harlaws at the wall, uh, and have been in the past. There is a there is another piece right down here that uh, is additional tinfoil, but we'll get to that after we figure out where the fuck we're going. Was there, was there ever a woman disguised as a man uh, at? The wall before satin. Um, uh, yeah, Danny Flint. <laughs> Danny Flint. Yeah. Why is Danny Flint still alive? We don't know what happened to Danny Flint, and it's implied it's quite horrible. Um. So if Danny Flint is still alive, her ghost is probably like, uh, uh like Lady Dustin, dark and vengeful. That makes sense. Uh. Sad and pretty song written about her. Oh, she's a ghost who still walks the night fort. You're the night fort's haunted as shit. Yeah, it sure. Nothing is. good happens there. We should do uh, a ghost roundup. We should. That'd be a fun one. Uh, cause it's like an underrated aspect that we don't talk about. There's a lot of like ghost adjacent things and ghost stories in a song of ice and fire. And some of them might be true. Uh, 
Now I tell everyone alive, by Jay's Wally is still 25. Tom, I'm lost. All right. Would I'm you, super would lost. You like I'm a... writing things right now, and I don't, I don't see anybody who jumps out to me as the person it would be. Would you like a nudge? Please. You are looking for a dead member of the Night's Watch. A dead man who wears a black cloak. That's the nudge. That's the nudge. I mean, I, I, there's like Grim Reaper imagery there, obviously. There, oh, right? there sure is. I, I was getting that with the sickle. A lot of people, so, a lot of people feel that this that this character like expresses Grim Reaper imagery when he talks. Who talks? Who's alive and talks? <laughs> Okay, well, now we can narrow it down to people who are still alive, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this is a character in the series. It's not, it's, it can't be Dolores Ed, right? Like, God, that's be, fun. Like, like, super gallows humor. I've seen all my friends die a hundred times over Dolores Ed. Uh, it was overrun with rats, my lord, but the spear wives killed the rats. Now it's overrun with spear wives. It's not Owen Marsh, is it? No, no. Neither of the, none of them is a dead man. It's true. You said a dead man. He's still alive. Uh, he said it wasn't the half. Uh, no, this person has two hands. Uh. <laughs> He's dead. For a dollar, name a dead person. For a dollar, uh, name a dead guy. It's not. It's not Yorin. Uh, <laughs> For a dollar, it... name a fucking yoga bag. Name a dead guy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, this is the most fun video I've ever done. Um, uh, uh, Melister's still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> Melador Locke is dead. Say again. Uh, Melador Locke is dead. Uh, this is a man who we are acquaint. We, we, the audience becomes acquainted with. Long after he appears to have died. Long, oh, 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 oh. It's cold hands. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Cold hands does not appear to match any of the criteria for most of the resurrection methods. In he could be an ice white, but just that he'd be far more intelligent and uh, able to, like, like he has self determination in a way the ice whites don't. The ice whites appear to be controlled by some sort of hive mind. It and does, knowing George R. R. Martin, that's exactly where it's going. It, he does, loves hive it does not appear that he could be an ice white because his eyes are described as dark black. And Sam thinks about the contrast between. His eyes and the ice white's eyes. So he he was resurrected by some other force we're not aware of, that or at the very least, the case. a different sort of ice white magic at the very least, one that does not uh, function the same. Boop, boop. Did we get there, Zach? Did we get there? there? Did we get there together? <laughs> What's the theory? <laughs> Boop. 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 <laughs> Is it 
Bran is cold hands? No, though that's very fun. <laughs> Thesis. Or is it, well, go, go ahead. What was it? Uh, did, did Bran resurrect cold hands, perhaps? Or, like, create him? Thesis, colon. Deserters were originally sacrificed to the Weirwoods in order to become a white in service to the Weirwood and to the Night's Watch. Cold Hands was one such Night's Watchman. Oh, that kind of slaps. He's a Weirwood zombie who warged another person at the moment of his death. So he took that. He took control of somebody else. Interesting. Huh. Cold Hands is a Weirwood zombie. I don't know if I buy it, but it's really interesting. Right, it's very cool. Would yeah, you like, would you like some? Lot. Would you like some additional tinfoil? Yes, please. Okay, you ready? Boop. Bonk, bonk. In the Winds of Winter sample chapters, Theon has been hearing voices through the weirwood trees and asks to be sacrificed in front of them. Cold, ha Cold Hands is a warged weirwood zombie. He has been resurrected through the power of the old gods. What if Theon does the same thing? Theon dies and comes back like Cold Hands. Yeah. And he is in service to Bran in the same way that Cold Hands appears to be in service to Blood Raven. That's dark and fucked up, and I really like it. What if Cold Hands is one of the original Raven's teeth? Oh, yeah. He's one of Blood Raven's, like, crew. Yeah. Who was uh, killed you. for deserting and then and then uh, brought back by a weirwood. Yeah, brought back by the power of Blood Raven. And now Bran brings back Theon. In the same sort of way. I like it. I like that a lot. And like, what if, what if cold hands is like a mantle? It's like the dread pirate Roberts. Exactly. What if, what if it's like, what if it is a collection of like haunted deserter, uh, consciousnesses, people who, the, the, the haunted conscience of people who abandoned their posts. People who are supposed to, you know, who betrayed an oath or something like that, uh, who broke a pledge. Which means Walter Frey could also end up being this person. Uh, but Which means that, uh, that Jamie could end up being this person. Jorah could end up being this person. Uh, cold Hands the Just. Cold Hands the Just, uh, yes. Uh, what, a, what an interesting concept. Isn't and that, this like, cool? And that would actually, like, there's some weird things from the show that, if, like, uh, kind of make sense. Like, uh, remember how Mel just turns into dust after she's done with the war uh, against the others? Yeah. That would make way more sense if, like, Cold Hands fulfills his destiny, Theon resurrected gets there, and uh, he says, you know, I've been alive for far too long, it's time that I rest, and he, like, fades away, and then Theon picks up his cloak. Yeah. And then uh, Theon's sacrifice at the in the in the battle like would track a little bit. Def it would sacrifice defending Bran. Yeah. It would make some kind of sense. Yeah, it would. Yeah. And then and then he could fade away the same way. Like he could be walking around with wounds that nobody could survive. Seemingly fine. And then Brandon would be like, are you okay? And he's like, uh, you've won. I'll be okay for uh, everything will be okay. And then he could fade away. Yeah. Wise. If you want to get some dark magic into that, those final books, which you should, 
Uh, absolutely. I like that. Zach, that's the theory. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I, I adore it, yeah. I, I don't know if I believe it, but it's really fun. Same. <sighs> Zach, I had a great time. Me too. Thank you for joining me on this. Um, once again, there's a nerd poll in the description. Um, thank you to Jacob for for sending this in. If you want to send in cool stuff like Jacob, you can at the link in the description. Uh, uh, Zach, end on, a, end on a cold hands joke. Um, he had cold hands. That was, that was it. That was the joke. Cold hand with you. You know cold what they say about cold hands. <laughs> yeah, cold feet. 